So here we are, this is the uh, Mac App Store. You can see the icon has just been uh, added to the dock on the bottom. Uh, that's from the update obviously. And this is what the uh, App Store looks like. It's very similar to the iTunes uh, App Store. Um, uh, in iTunes obviously, and the, the layout, the moving, the rolling um, pictures up here at the top. You can scroll down, see all the apps. See, you've got Angry Birds on here, which I will buy, which is two ninety nine in the in the UK. Not sure what it is in the US, but um, that's that's an introductory price. But it's quite expensive. But um, people would differentiate the prices between the iPhone App Store and the uh, Mac App Store, obviously. But that's just the initial uh, impact of the price. So if we go down, you can actually buy individual applications. So you don't have to buy your uh, iWorks anymore. You can just buy Pages. You can buy. Um, you can instead of you can buy Keynote, and also instead of iLife, you don't have to buy the whole package. You can buy them individually. So you can buy GarageBand, you can buy iPhoto, all individually, and that is all um, iLife 11, which is uh, pretty good because people who don't want to spend a hundred or something pounds can just buy the application at a very nice and affordable price. So the uh, the little bio of the of the application is all here. Quite slow. There's a bit of problems with it at the moment. Uh, it's not letting me to buy Angry Birds or buy certain applications. So I think it's still still quite glitchy, but uh, it is here nevertheless. So as you can see, it gives you everyone knows how GarageBand works, but you can just download it straight off this. All the updates are in here as well, so you, you can also update it through the software update, obviously. But it's nice and easy, all in one place. You can view your purchases, sort in categories as well. So you can see your games, anything you want, you're interested in, in sport, photography, social networking. Obviously, that'd be great. it's all it's all all nicely organised, very similar to the uh, iPhone App Store, obviously. And um, I think it's just it's just great to have on the Mac. I think Mac was missing uh, a store, which um, everyone could just get applications that they need, free ones. Um, Cause I'm I've come across uh, that I did have on my Mac already, but now on here. So all the developers are bringing all their apps third-party apps onto this app store it's all in one place very convenient and um, very polished I think uh, nice a little, or a little uh, additional update to a Mac OS X so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video just showing you what it looks like um, what to expect from it and go download it now if you've got a uh, Mac OS uh, Snow Leopard so thanks for watching check out tips onecom follow me on YouTube uh, on, on YouTube or on YouTube and follow me on Twitter and make sure you check out my channel page, which uh, has been totally revamped. It uh, looks great. And um, I'd like to thank, I think it's HDX or something, on uh, YouTube. I'll put his links down below, so check him out. He's the guy who did it for me, so thank you very much to him. So thanks for watching, guys. Your boy iPhone Tips 1. Peace.